Go All right, ahead. we had uh, yeah. Patty Pimblett versus Bobby Green. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I was about to give you shit for not calling him King Green, and I put fucking Bobby Green on the title card. There you go, dude. <laughs> there you go. Patty the Batty versus Bobby Green. Uh, and, again, like I was saying, fantastic entrance. Patty the Batty, I text you, and I said, uh, I believe I text George too, right? I was like, this entrance just got me so hyped for the fight yeah they got him in the orange shorts finally the sakuraba shorts as he was walking out i was talking to brian i was like dude it'd be sick i love bobby green but it would be sick if the first fight back with the sakuraba shorts he gets a submission and then it happened <laughs> and then it happened hey yeah. bobby green's entrance also legit the way he jumps in and rolls and like stands up like yelling at patty and patty well, like has to he- acknowledge it he like takes his shirt off and like gives it to people in the crowd and stuff. Why well, like, I want to say he gave it? He, yeah, well, but he throws somebody it. just yeah. snatched it and he, like, he always looks back. It. He always yeah, does that. no, it's just so funny though. <laughs> just seeing his reaction, he like look back real quick. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Patty, by the way, phenomenal shape. Always shredded, dude. Always shredded. Come fight time. Yeah, cannot come be good time. for the body uh, to fluctuate like that, but always shredded. Never had an issue making weight. Nothing like that. He, just, he gets there. He's a professional. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you think about the fight? Uh, Yeah, they go in. Oh, I had a picture with the walkout. I didn't even show Look at that, uh, dude. The way he just bounces his arms up and down, dude, as he walks it's in. Ridiculous. Yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> the entire crowd going nuts, man. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely uh, love it. But yeah, uh, Patty did a good job of, uh, I liked his fainting on the feet. Oh, okay. We'll summarize the fight. Uh. A lot of straight shots landed, leg kicks landed from both sides. Uh, Patty was hitting Bobby as Bobby was. Bobby marches a lot. He, he'll bring up his lead leg because people like to leg kick him so much. Yep. Uh, and Patty was catching him while he was on one foot, which is always like amazing to do. Um, but Bobby was landing his shots. A lot of talking Eventually, from Bobby. A lot of talking from Bobby. Textbook Bobby. Uh, Patty hits him with the leg kick as he's trying to scoot back out of it. Catches him off balance a little bit. He grabs the leg, runs through with it. I don't think it was necessarily like a planned takedown attempt. Like people are kind of clowning on him for. I don't think that was the case. I think it was just in the mix up. That was like, I'm going to go with this momentum and take this guy down type of thing. When you're in there, it's not like you're thinking like from, it's not an armchair experience, you know, like you're in a fight. Um, So he kind of shoots on him there. Patty jumps guillotine immediately. um, And... I was like, oh, no, this is not good for Bobby because say what you will about Patty. I know he has a ton of haters. I know he, like Tom, leaves his chin up in the air when he enters. Uh, There's some holes in his games. People hate him for getting gifted a decision against Jared Gordon, which that's on the judges, not Patty, really. Uh, And Patty, I think people didn't like his reaction to that uh, because he was like, no, I won that fight, whatever. People were like, no, you didn't be honest about it. And then since then, he has been. He's like, yeah, I have gone back. And like, that was not a good performance. And you're like, cool, great. So what are people mad about? Uh, They still are, though. Uh, But people will pretend that fighters they hate are not skilled. And that is not the case. Just because Mm -hmm. you hate them does not mean they're good or they're not good. And one thing that Patty has always had is very good jujitsu. Go back and watch the Cage Warrior stuff. He does some very cool stuff in grappling tournaments. He is good. And in this position, you can see he jumped guillotine, but look where his leg is and look where Bobby's left hand is. Hi. Hi, right away. Yep. Leg is up. Bobby's Bobby's hand is below the leg, which then sets up the triangle uh, because that same leg is over the shoulder now. Uh, Very fast recognition as well from uh, yeah. Patty for that. that. Yeah. And he goes triangle. He doesn't quite have a good lock uh, underneath the knee. Um but he switches the angle. He grabs the hook here. He hooks Bobby's uh, left leg with his right arm, gets the underhook on that, pulls it because you want to be looking down at the ear, not at the top of the head. You want to be perpendicular cross, across them, not along them. Um, but the lock isn't quite there. There's opening on that lock. So he ditches the leg, goes back to square on him, fixes the lock, hooks the leg again to go back on the angle. Very cool. Uh, and then in the transition to sweep him with the triangle, uh, oh, there's them hooking the leg. Um, in the transition to sweep him with the triangle, he ends up on top, and Bobby is out. 
uh, and then he switches to the arm bar uh, and pops his arm and they call it and then he lets go and Bobby was out the whole time. So he arm barred the guy who was unconscious, which is fucking horrible. Uh, he, he couldn't tap to the arm bar. Um, Oof. Oof. It's just not fun. But uh, it was a fun fight, dude. I liked this fight. That was I'm a big green fan, but it was uh, a fun fight. In that Statement crowd, made, too. bitches. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> how do you? How, where are you on the on the Patty love hate uh, meter? I love Patty the Batty, dude. <laughs> Come on, I I just love entertainers, dude. But he can yeah. back it up too. And yes, he's not perfect. I don't think he's the most elite in his division, mm-hmm. you know. But I do think that he's better than most people give him credit for. Yeah. Um. And you know, uh, again, when you're able to energize an entire crowd like that and then still put on fun fights yeah I, you see it and we'll talk about it later on down the road we got a couple of fighters bickering at each other talking all this and then as soon as you know it's time to fight like you get the exact opposite patty always brings it dude he's a lot of fun that's true that's true so, and he could be a flawed fighter and still be fun you know yeah ganskow says i like the idea of patty and moicano Coaching tough and fighting each other next. Dude, that'd be so fun. Yeah, Patty said that in the post-fight press conference. That would be hilarious. The worst part, though, is that you know the UFC production team wouldn't do it justice. And it would be such a wasted opportunity. And, like, if they did it correctly, it would be amazing. But Ultimate Fighter, oh, the way they edit This would it, bring tough ask. back to life. Not if they film it the same way they have been for the past six seasons. Where it's just, like, the most basic, just run-of-the-mill moving through it with no like intention of anything if they no, actually they would just made have it a to say, TV show. let them let them go at it right just <laughs> let them be them and yeah. just record it like a reality tv show and just yeah. you're, they're, they're gonna give you your moments hey shut up game scout come on because right now <laughs> this is what tough is this is what tough is i want to like tough i grew up watching tough i loved it yeah uh i was excited every day after baseball practice i'd go home have my burrito and then Watch fucking tough. It was sick. Uh, lately now, this is how it goes. You get each episode, a little bit of an intro. Then you have, uh, let's say me and you are fighting, right? Our, it's our episode to fight. We get background stories. We get five minutes of nothing. Uh, just kind of like walking around the house, meandering, transition shots. Yes, we know you're in Vegas. You don't need. We don't need an establishing shot every fucking 30 seconds of Vegas. Um, <laughs> and then... Cool. We're following Ramiro now. What's your backstory? It's you sitting in a camera, talking, sitting in a room, talking to a camera, explaining uh, who who you are, where you came from, a couple f- couple videos of you in your kitchen at home. Uh, yeah, and then it's cuts of you training for the fight uh, for 15, 20 minutes, and then oh, now it's Will's turn to be showcased. 15, 20 minutes of the same thing for me. Uh, turns out. A lot of fighters are very similar, so it's like watching the same thing over again. Uh, and then you fight at the end, and then it's a quick little next episode preview, and that's the entire show now. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. Pretty Bring cookie back, cutter, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know how you fix it. You want to know how you fix it? You go back to. There's also no stakes in the fight because the matchups are predetermined as far as who's fighting who at, in the first episode. Uh, it's already decided. Um, the first episode should be be the draft still. The first episode, you get to know everybody a little bit, open workout, then you have a draft. Uh, whoever gets first pick in the draft, whoever gets second pick in the draft gets to pick the first matchup. And then, cool, that fight happens. Next episode, team challenges. Bring the team challenges back. Yes. Whoever wins the team challenges picks the next fight. That way there's something at least, people say it's not a team sport, though. At least it's entertaining to watch. And yeah. it's a TV show at the end of the day. And through that, we get to learn about these fighters. We don't need them to sit at a camera and tell us about their lives because it's not compelling. Just bring back the team challenges. Whoever wins the team challenge of that episode picks the next matchup. And then you don't know what's happening. Um, Ghost says, uh, what type of burrito did you have after baseball practice? From Chipotle. Chipotle was not a thing at the time. (laughs) Uh, As far as I know of, it wasn't at least in my area at the time. Uh, shout out Donia Estes and San Juan Batista. Oh, uh, and shout out Adam Haracha, one of the boys from back in the day. It was a uh, extended family owned the restaurant, and there was a secret uh, burrito on the menu that was the Adam Haracha burrito. Uh, and if you told them that, 
you get the Adam Haracha burrito, big ass, <laughs> big ass super burrito, dude. Fucking asada, all the works, fucking wet sauce, massive burrito. You take that home, fucking perfect for watching Ultimate Fighter, dude. Fucking perfect for watching Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> you just because you just had baseball practice, you're, you're exhausted. You had to run a bunch, all this stuff. You get a massive Adam Haracha burrito. Take that shit home, dude. Watch Mayhem Miller talk shit to Bisping. Oh, Those were the that good was such days, a good dude. season too, man. God, the good old days. Such a good season. All right. Yeah. But yes, agreed. <laughs> Very cookie cut right now with Tough. Yeah. So got got to change something up. It, but if you do have somebody like a Patty the Batty versus Hinata Moicano, that's a really mm-hmm. good start. You have some great coaches. Uh, it's going to draw yeah. in a, a lot of folks, put a lot of eyes on it. But then after that, you you definitely have to do something to fix and keep viewers on. Because yeah, because you can't just rely on the interesting coaching aspect because we had Chandler Connor and everyone's like, tough is back, baby. Connor's going to be so funny this season. And then they just wasted all of it again. And yeah. you're like, ah, oh, well, it sucked again. <laughs> like, you can't <laughs> oh, just no, have we still coaches. suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we suck again. We suck all right. again. <laughs> so do we, do we want to skip this next fight? Let's do it. We're already yeah, 45 we're already... minutes in. Robocop yeah, is cool. Up. I like the guy, but uh, we can not do that. Yeah, hey, props to him, though. A lot of power in his striking. As soon as Mm -hmm. uh, the close of distance, he has those short hooks that are very clean. Uh, You know, uh, dealt a lot of damage to Duncan. Yeah, yeah, the very cool. I like Duncan's elbow, that that split open Robocop. It was a fun fight. It's just, you know, we're already 45 fucking minutes in. We talked mostly about tough. (laughs) (laughs) And burritos. And burritos. (laughs) But the burrito sounds amazing, though. I'm glad you actually mentioned that. Next time I'm in town, I'm going to stop by Donia Estares and see if they still hook up that secret burrito I don't, I don't think you can get the uh the the adam Haraj burrito anymore but you can still get burrito it's still good ah uh, dude it's all about el trito now all right i had that yesterday oh so good <laughs> I'm jelly 